Thierry Henry was able to recall his winter signings as Monaco looked to give their survival hopes a shot in the arm at home to Strasbourg. Draws with Marseille and Nice had steadied the ship somewhat, but the Principality needed to get a monkey off their back, still without a home league win this campaign. Naldo says Fabregas and Ford Bayo Torre back after sitting out the Côte d'Azur derby. And after seeing Gangong mauled by PSG, Amiens losing at Lille, Monaco new victory would see them out of the bottom three for the first time since week seven. However, Henri started his job with defeat at Strasbourg. And the Westerners are flying high with three straight wins in all competitions to start 2019. And the visitors' task at the Stade Louis Du was made much easier after just seven minutes. Naldo sent off in just his fourth Monaco appearance since signing for two million euros from Schalke. Ludovic Ajork was pulled back and he then exacted full punishment minutes later. Brilliant header from the imposing centre forward. Kenny Lala's brilliant ball and expertly directed by the man who scored 14 goals in Domino League 2 with Clermont last season. Monaco shell socked and then it would get even worse. Another header this time from Adrian Thomason. Third league goal in four for the midfielder, equaling his best haul of five achieved with Nantes last season. Still with plenty of the season to play. Well, for the talent on the field, it's a mystery how Monaco are struggling so, but they showed some signs of fight. Alexander Golovon battling hard. Yuri Tillemann with a brilliant ball slipped through. And Radamel Falcao diverted the ball past Matt Sells for his eighth of the season. Back in the start of Leving, having been a sub in the midweek draw with Nice. Otieri well, Lori again doing an incredible job at Strasbourg. The Westerners on course for a sixth straight victory in all competitions. They haven't achieved that since 2016 in Domino League 2. Having not beaten Monaco since 2002, victory at home in October ended a run of 11 without a win in this fixture. And now 45 minutes from doing the league double for the first time this millennium. And Cesc Fabregas is beginning to see the true nature of Monaco's struggles and appear to affect the World Cup winner. Azurk winning the ball from the Spaniards and then setting up Ibrahima Sissoko. All smiles for the youngsters. Pain for the former Chelsea and Arsenal man. But this, an absolute cracker outside of the boots after scoring the winner at Toulouse last week. This, an absolute peach. Azurk was running amok, even with four Monaco players around him. A 40-yard dribble finished with a plum. Well, the 24-year-old's brace, meaning four goals in his last three competitive outings. A man of the match performance, if ever you saw one. Well, the boos ringing out of the Stade Louis Du. They were given some hope, as it was then 10 against 10. Stefan Mitrovic receiving his second booking. And second red of the season, having been sent off in week 40's defeat to Nîmes. Yet Lorry's men still secured their biggest win in Ligue 1 against Monaco since a 5-0 win in September 1968. Sub Nuno Costa setting up Yusuf Fofana. And what a moment for the 20-year-old in only his sixth top flight appearance. His second start, bringing his first Ligue 1 Conferama goal. Serie A strugglers Frosinoni are the only other side in the top five European leagues to not have won at home. And sadly for Monaco, they still hold that record. Strasbourg emphatically winning at the Stade Louis Du. A small band of travelling supporters celebrating while Henri and the powers that be at Monaco start to worry if relegation could be on the cards for the 2017 champions.